When you step inside a Perkins, you'll be engulfed in a culinary storm as this extraordinary establishment brings the thunder to your hunger. It's not just a restaurant. It's a food haven that caters to families, providing a worry-free dining experience for you and your little ones. Picture yourself sliding into a cozy booth knowing that Perkins has got your back when it comes to satisfying appetites of all sizes. Through the years, Perkins has proven itself to be a true survivor, weathering storms and overcoming challenges. Like a nimble acrobat, it has gracefully adapted to the ever-changing restaurant landscape, constantly evolving its offerings to keep up with the times. Since 1958, it has managed to land on its feet time and time again, emerging as a resilient giant in the culinary world. So, my fellow foodies, the only question that remains is, what will you be having? From fluffy pancakes to savory sandwiches, mouth-watering dinners to heavenly desserts, Perkins has it all. Join us on this delicious journey as we explore the remarkable menu and savor the incredible flavors that make Perkins a true gastronomic adventure. Step back in time, my fellow time travelers, and let's explore the bustling kitchen of a Perkins restaurant in the late 1950s. As you enter, you'll be greeted by a delightful chaos of waffle irons and pancake batter, creating a symphony of breakfast delights. But hold on tight because there's no bakery in sight, and you'll be hard-pressed to find a burger on the menu. In those early days, Perkins was known as the Perkins Pancake House, and its brown and orange logo proudly adorned the establishment. Specializing in hotcakes, this humble chain had a singular focus. According to the legendary tales on Perkins' website, they dazzled patrons with a staggering selection of two dozen pancake varieties accompanied by mouth-watering waffles topped with an array of delicious toppings. Oh, the sweet aromas that must have filled the air. Fast forward to the present, and while Perkins still offers a delightful array of breakfast options, they have expanded their horizons in a big way. Just like a courageous adventurer, they couldn't resist the call to explore new culinary territories. Thanks to an enterprising franchisee, Perkins transformed from a humble breakfast chain into a force to be reckoned with. Perkins set the table for its nationwide expansion by boldly opening its doors for lunch and dinner. Yes, my friends, they ventured beyond the boundaries of their narrow lane, embracing the full spectrum of dining experiences. Today, their menu spans multiple pages, offering a mouth-watering variety of dishes to cater to every palate. From pancakes and waffles that pay homage to their breakfast origins to a symphony of lunch and dinner options, Perkins has become a culinary powerhouse. It was in the transformative year of 1969 that Perkins Pancake House shed its breakfast-centric image and emerged as the bold and dynamic Perkins Cake and Steak. In other words, we can say that Perkins was about much more than just flipping pancakes. Enter the mastermind behind this visionary makeover, Wyman Nelson, an ingenious Perkins franchisee. With a trailblazing spirit, Nelson embarked on a mission to revolutionize his Minnesota-based franchises, introducing radical and daring changes. In 1967, he shattered the norm by boldly putting all his Perkins locations on a modern 24-hour, 7-day-a-week schedule. Talk about round-the-clock deliciousness! But Nelson's ambitions didn't stop there. He recognized the untapped potential of a dinner menu, and it was this stroke of genius that led to the birth of Perkins Cake and Steak. As Funding Universe reveals, Nelson realized that the chain's loose-knit, informal network of franchises was holding it back. So, with determination in his eyes and steak sizzling on the grill, he embarked on an aggressive consolidation of the Perkins brand in the swinging 60s and 70s. The winds of change swept through the Perkins empire, and it became abundantly clear that this culinary powerhouse was destined for greatness. Capable of diversifying their offerings with finesse, Perkins took the stage as an all-purpose, all-day restaurant, catering to every craving and occasion. Now here is the most interesting fact about Perkins. And if you like to learn about the history of your favorite eateries, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Picture this. The owners of a beloved family hotel chain, none other than the illustrious Holiday Corp, saw potential in the flourishing Perkins Cake and Steak. 
It was the late 1970s and Holiday Corp, known for its iconic Holiday Inn hotels, was ready to expand beyond its hospitality empire and venture into the realm of restaurants and casinos. Their eyes gleamed with excitement as they eagerly acquired Perkins, envisioning a future of prosperity. Under the Holiday Corp's ownership, Perkins remained profitable but struggled to truly thrive. Determined to turn the tide, a courageous board member stepped up to the plate, ready to make bold moves and shake things up. He decided to take Perkins private, instigating a series of transformative changes that would breathe new life into the brand. One of the pivotal alterations involved a complete revamp of the chain's dated decor. Out with the old and in with the fresh and trendy, Perkins received a stylish makeover that catapulted it into the realm of relevance. The winds of change swept through the restaurants, signaling a renewed commitment to growth and innovation. And boy, did it work. Perkins, once mired in stagnation throughout the 1980s, burst back onto the scene with renewed vigor. The shakeup brought about a resurgence in growth and revenue, ensuring that Perkins remained a force to be reckoned with in the competitive culinary landscape. Moving on. Well, let's shift things a little bit and see what Perkins has to offer to its surrounding community. Their commitment to making a difference extends far beyond their delicious offerings. In 1989, Perkins embarked on a remarkable partnership with Give Kids the World Village, a nonprofit attraction nestled in the enchanting realm of Kissimmee, Florida. This magical haven is dedicated to bringing joy and happiness to critically ill children immersing them in a theme park atmosphere like no other. Give Kids the World Village, born in 1986, has flourished with the support of incredible corporate partners like Perkins. With a mission to create unforgettable experiences, the village sprawls over 89 acres. Adorned with 166 villas that serve as a sanctuary for families in need. Imagine a world where every corner is filled with wonder a candy-coated paradise where children can explore vibrant venues like the House of Hearts, Mark's Dino Putt, and Julie's Safari Theater. It's a place where dreams come true and smiles light up the sky. This remarkable initiative knows no boundaries. Give Kids the World Village has welcomed families from not just the United States, but also 76 countries around the globe. It's a testament to the universal power of compassion and the ability to spread joy far and wide. Perkins, in addition to its monetary benevolence, has embraced a hands-on approach within the village. At Nancy's Kitchen in Cafe Clayton, they roll up their sleeves, cooking up their delectable wares with love and care. It's a beautiful collaboration that showcases the power of partnership and the impact that can be made when compassionate hearts come together. Next, and on the other side of its book, Perkins filed for bankruptcy in 2011 and again in 2019. Despite its valiant efforts, Perkins found itself in troubled waters, fighting for survival. The chain faced a daunting challenge as the weight of its unwise expansion efforts proved to be a burden too heavy to bear. The year 2011 marked a pivotal turning point when Perkins' parent company was forced to make the heart-wrenching decision to close 65 Perkins and Marie Collender's restaurants. In a somber twist of fate, control of the company had to be handed over to their creditors. The acquisition of Marie Collender's restaurant company in 2005, a move that was meant to bring prosperity, had instead further strained Perkins' fortunes. With an investment of $140 million, the subsidiary did little to alleviate the company's financial woes. As with any complex issue, numerous factors at play led this mighty chain to face financial insolvency. Joseph Trungale, president of Marie Collender's at the time, pointed to the mid-2000s housing crash and the subsequent recession as significant contributors to Perkins' troubles. The unfortunate timing of their expansions coincided with a tumultuous economic climate, exacerbating the challenges they faced. Sometimes, timing can make or break a business, and it seemed that everything was aligning against Perkins during their expansion phase. Despite enduring the setbacks and turmoil of 2011, Perkins and Marie Collenders would face yet another bankruptcy filing in 2019, as reported by USA Today. However, true resilience lies in rising from the ashes, and Perkins would once again demonstrate its indomitable spirit. That's a wrap on our thrilling journey through the captivating history of Perkins. 
We hope you enjoyed this mouth-watering exploration of their evolution, triumphs, and challenges. But now, we have an intriguing question for you. Are you Team Pancakes or Team Burgers? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel. Until next time, keep indulging in the flavors of life, and remember to stay hungry for more culinary delights. Bon appétit!